Paul Aiton is a well-known Papua New Guinean in the rugby league circles. His new role as the SBPNG Hunters assistant coach after his illustrious rugby league career has been an ambition of his. I really enjoyed coming back to, to PNG. I know it's the Hunters, but I feel like I've sort of come back to PNG. Um, I was in England for eight years, England and France, like eight years play loud. So I um, uh, always wanted to come back to PNG. In what form? I, I wasn't sure. But uh, when, when I saw the advertisement for the assistant coach, I put my hand up and I went through the process and I got the job. So I was very happy to get the job. Um, coming back to PNG, working with the young boys, some of them were my ex-teammates. So now, now they've all left. Um, whatever is the last one that I've played with. But uh, it was really good. Um, I had a good experience. Um, it's the first time I've uh, met uh, Matt Church, the coach. So first time me meet one of them. Um, so it was all new for me. Um, as, as well, playing from going from coach to, uh, player to coach, it was very new. So, Aiton had a long representative career, which saw him play 16 Test matches for the PNG Kumuls. He knows most of the staff in the Hunters program, and is gelling in well with the coaching staff at the Hunters. All the staff, I know them already. I've been in Kumuls a long time, so um, Solomon Kulunasi, uh, Mo, Nong, um, I, I know them all. And also Stan. Stan was coach, my coach. He was assistant coach of Cornwall as well. So on the PNG side, I, I knew them already. So knowing my role, coming in, uh, understanding that I'm not a player anymore. I'm a coach now. So I'm, my purpose is there to make the boys better and um, win games. So that's that's how I'm looking at my at my position. Aiton has a key role in the Hunters. He serves as a mentor and an assistant coach, and has an important task of making sure the players understand the training regime of the SPPNG Hunters coach, Matthew Church. Aiton says him knowing how to speak talk pissing helps the players better understand the team's strategy, but also the players need to know more English in order to pursue further their rugby league careers. Coach by talk talk now, some of the time I talk pissing a lot. So, some of the time talk pissing me, 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 English, but I think they understand. But the main part is, um, is how I was in, the job of me is to take the boys and we're trying to create a pathway. Yes, 100%, we need to win games, but we're also trying to help them become better in their rugby league careers as well. So in doing that, we have to speak a little bit of English. So I think having a bit of talk pissing and a bit of English to blow on them is a good thing. Now that Stan's, Stan's coming too, Coach Stan Tepen, he's been a great addition. I mean, come and of him. He's been really good for us, um, been really good for the boys, because how he comes in as being you know, PNG's best coach, it's really good. So having standing there, myself doing a bit of talk pissing and the coach doing English, even sometimes coach do talk pissing as well. But. He says exposing the players in the team to life in Australia is a step forward in building a pathway for PNG players to be better suited in life outside of PNG. Uh, even I think a mixture of all, all, all of these, um, it's, it's totally beneficial for the boys. So whether they all start on the Miplo or got in Narapal Club and go they're going to benefit because they're a bit familiar with the English, even staying down there as well. People stop down below, so um, because we're down there, they're sort of getting used to it because it's a different culture. People stop close to, you know, PNG and Australia are close to, but we are a different culture. So there's no point fighting them. We're a different culture. So I think having, exposing our boys to a little bit of the different culture, then I think um, it's, it's certainly beneficial for us. Fidelis Sukina Trukai Sports.